Hello, so we are back Wednesday morning and we have a job and I'm sorry I didn't start the video like 10 minutes ago because I was arguing with the people from the shop, yeah, inclusive the, including the owner of the shop because he took the job. Yeah? So you have a job. This is a dead laptop which was booked in for charging port, uh, left with charger, yeah, the customer left the chip, was booked in for a charging port job. The charging port job is cheaper compared with a motherboard repair, yeah? And I ask, why, what is the reason why you booked in this job as a charging port job? I mean, we are losing money if it's not, not, if it's not the charging port. Oh, I plugged the charger and the laptop was not coming on and we assume it's the charging port and no. You know, usually we are booking a charging port job when you see damage on the charging port. But the, the discharging port is not damaged, yeah? So this is a job where, uh, where most likely we, we will be losing money, okay? But we have to fix it. And um, the owner of the shop said, okay, if it's a motherboard, let, let's call the customer and tell him it's extra 20 pounds, yeah? And I said, no, that's not fair. Yeah, just think, you are the customer. Uh, they said it will cost you that kind of money and after that you got a phone call oh sorry it will be more that's not professional you can't do something like that yeah so you have to diagnose and tell him that the, the right price from the beginning so this is not a charging port job most likely i don't know i'm not sure i haven't checked anything if we're uh, pouring on the laptop power on nothing happened it's a i3 10 gen. This is a new laptop. 10 gen. This is insane. This is this should be more expensive. Give me one second. This should be more expensive. This job was booked in for the wrong price. This is an i3 tangent and Nvidia graphics. Kind of, you know, a little bit like a gaming laptop. In gaming laptops, they have different repair, different price for the repairs. Okay? I'm not like greedy or something like that, yeah? But you charge that much. And you have to give warranty, and you cannot. That's a, I'm, 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 every time I try to explain, you cannot give warranty because I replace a capacitor. Doesn't work like that. Not here. Not in the United Kingdom. You have to give warranty for the assembly. Yeah. So I fix the motherboard. I give you warranty for the motherboard. Now, if you charge a little, and this laptop it will come back like let's say one month, one week, one month, two months, with a different issue, and you cannot fix it. You have to replace the motherboard for free. Yeah, that's that's that way. It's important to ask for the right price. And uh, you know what? You'll be surprised. Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. Charging port. If it is got the battery. And the charging board is not on the flex. But what phone is this? S10 Plus. Let's test. Oh, we can solder the board by charging. What do you mean? Ash. Yeah, not to, not with this case. Yeah. Yeah, it's fully charged. Obviously, it's taking a little bit of current, but it's charging fine. It looks like it's something in there. Yeah. Has to be fixed or what? Yeah, it has a little bit. Yeah, you want to clean it? Okay, okay. And take the case. 
Um, you'll be surprised and you think I will get uh, this solved. I will just refund the customer. No, it doesn't work like that. The customer will say, you know what? I don't want the money. I want to fix the laptop. You gave me warranty, fix it. You touch the laptop, obviously, I don't want the money back. I want you to fix it because you was the first which you opened my laptop and, uh, and you will end up losing money. I'm trying to explain it. This is no greed, you know, well, replacing a capacitor and charging like 6 to 80 pounds. It's no greed. It's, 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 it's for the show protection because we had before this kind of case, you know, like fixing a, a big thing and charging a little and then come back with different problem and we, we end up losing money. Okay? Okay, just enough with the with the talk. Let's see this one. So let's check the charger first. And the charger is the charger is dead. I can't see zero volts. So the charger it is plugged in. Come on, this is not even faulty. This is a faulty charger. I can't believe. You know, trying to explain you how this works and actually it's not even the, the laptop is not even faulty. Okay, let's test. 19 volts on the power supply. Nineteen volts plus on the middle, yeah. And on the middle it's taking nothing. Pressing the power button. And it's taking nothing. Wow. You can believe that. So we have two folds. I'm just touching the ground, yeah, with the with the probe. That's why you see the current jumping. So now I'm keeping the exactly on the middle pin. It's taking nothing. Zero. Zero is taking Pressing the power button, nothing happened. It's taking no current at all. So we have two faults in one here. Or maybe I cannot check because the middle pin is uh, to inside. This is it is going inside. It's, it's showing me zero volts. Let me let me check with something else. Let me check with the wire, yeah? I mean, on a shop, you know, it, there are some lessons. You learn them over the time. Okay. No, the charger is dead. The charger is dead. Okay, let me, let me explain them and speak about this. One second, give me one second. Okay, you know what? This is this is tricky, yeah. You know why it's tricky? Because if you call the customer and tell him is the charger and the laptop, what the customer it will think on the next second? No, it's only the charger, and you want to charge me money for the repair. And actually, my laptop is not faulty; it's the charger. That's why it's, it's tricky. So you know what I will do? I'll stop this video. Let's speak with the customer first. Let's. Uh, it's it's up to him if he wants to take the laptop and buy a charger and test by himself. But that's the point where we are not going forward. Okay? Just because it's tricky. You know, every time when uh, you have a laptop to be repaired and you tell him, is the charger faulty but is, and, and, he, and the laptop together? And he, he's thinking, no, it's only my charger. The laptop is not faulty. We, we had this before, yeah? So stop now. And see you after we speak with the customer, yeah? Bye. Okay, so we are 10 minutes later. Um, the owner of the shop, he spoke, with the, he spoke with the customer, and the customer said yes. Of course, not before asking, you sure it's not only the charger? Exactly what I told you. Okay, so let's have a look on this one and see what's the problem.
You know, this is just, just uh, you know, a short example how to manage the jobs. Because obviously we, we didn't get to this point from the beginning, you know, but just having a lot of uh, unpleasant experience, yeah. We are taking the all the, you know, cautious measures, yeah. You remember when I told you, before I told you a story, we are in a shopping center here. People came and many times, can you charge my phone? And on the beginning was doing for free. When the problems start arriving, like, okay, uh, my phone was not scratched before or uh, my screen was not broken before. And we said, okay, it was a dodgy customer. Okay, let's charge one pound just to cover in case we have this kind of customer. He's trying to help them. And um, this didn't end. Yeah, we, we have another surprise and we stopped doing it. So actually people think if we are saying no, when they ask to charge the phone, we are actually, you know, just mean. But no. We learn from the experience. Uh, trying to help it's a, it's it's a bad idea of course it didn't apply for everyone but uh, on the end of the day you see you're losing money trying to help things you stop helping the people charging the phones yeah yeah this is just uh, you know it's an example So it's just a, a short example how trying to help someone it, it, it will end up losing money because a hundred customers are fine but if one is bad and it's you know you have to pay for his phone or I don't know you have to replace his screen you're losing money even if the other a hundred was okay so let's open this one let's see I'm just trying to explain, if you are nice, that doesn't mean uh, the other people will be nice with you. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, I, I, try to, I try to explain that from the experience, from uh, what we have before. Okay, that's the board. Okay, this is a gaming laptop, which is, you know, a light gaming laptop, very light, based on the, uh, the small uh, heatsink, small board. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look on the charging port. Okay, this is spinning. Yeah. I made before um, videos and, uh, you know, people, uh, oh, sorry, you charge that much for a capacitor or, you know, things like that. You know, running a real business, uh, it's a little bit different compared of uh, doing uh, repairs on, uh, you know, like a hobby. Well, you know what? Okay. Very possible. You remember the charging port? I swear I remember the charging port on some Aces. Actually, we are spinning, spinning around the, the, the laptop was not working, but was working with the charger because the charging port has a pin to detect the charger, right? You remember that job? Actually, one pin is to detect the charger. Let's check those pins, compare with the ground, yeah? So let me switch the multimeter on diode mode, so it's possible the laptop to be working. Diode mode. Okay. Let's see. This pin, 
is is to ground is zero and this pin this pin is no ground and it's not plus okay you see this is a tricky one this is tricky it's very possible the laptop will be good so uh, we have to come with a power supply with 19 yeah 19 plus here and it's taking no current and now let's connect this pin to the ground and it start charging right plus connect to the ground and look it takes it start taking current you see 10 milliamps now it's not it's not going to 10 milliamps anywhere anymore so one more time this pin to the ground plus look it's charging the battery check on the screen on the on the power supply it's taking 170 milliamps but if i take this out it's not doing it so keep in mind these laptops yeah it's an acer laptop it's an acer laptop yeah has a has a pin inside of the charging port to detect if the charger is plugged in fully crazy insane i mean i have a video i was spinning around the motherboard like half an hour trying to find the way the motherboard is is taking no power so i have plus minus it's a round pin connector why it's taking no power but that pin from the charging port has to be connected to the ground and look it's taking 160 milliamps you can see so now the laptop is working So that's the catch. Actually, the laptop is good. But anyway, we took all the precaution measures, yeah? So we are covered. So even now, if we're calling back the customer and tell him, you know what, your laptop is good, actually, it's only the charger. The customer will be happy, you know? We are losing nothing. Now, all what we have to do is to test. So it is taking 170 milliamps, which is not enough. But probably the battery level is very, very low. When, and when it's very low, it will take less current on the first stage of, first stage of the charging. Yeah? Let's uh, try and charge the battery a little bit uh, manually. What voltage is 15 volts just to bring the battery to a normal working level and the battery is taking 2.7 amps let's lower the current 2 amps the battery is charging fine Now let's check the charging again. Uh, sorry, has to be 19. 19, 20, same thing. Now the laptop is still taking. No, look, look, look on the on the power supply. It's, it's switched to one amp. You can see. Just because the battery reached the normal charging level, the laptop charging circuit switched to one amp. So now right now it's charging with one amp, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. So I suppose this. Is, oh look, we have the charging light on the other side. Do you see here? Yeah? But we don't have the charging light without making that bridge to ground. This pin with this pin. So now as we make the bridge, we have the charging light there. 180 milliamps and it will switch to 1 amp, 1.10 amps. You can see that on the power supply. So I suppose the laptop is working. How we can test it? How we can test it? Oh, look, the, the battery is moving. You know, the quality of those laptops is crazy. 
the battery has no screws at all. Okay, let's see how we can test it. Can I keep the plus there? Or inside? Uh, probably not. I need one more hand. Uh, Patrick, give me, a, give me a hand. Just to press the power button. Yeah? One second. One second. Because I have to short something here. Uh huh? It's on the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now you can push it. You can see it. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. It goes to zero. No, it's still on. The battery is low. Ah, we need another way to do it. And we can do it. Okay, if the plus... How can I do it? Now it's connected. It's okay. Okay, power on. One point seven amps. Let's see the picture on the screen, yeah? I heard a beep. Let's wait. Probably the bias got reset. And that's the reason why he's starting that. Another beep. Another beep. Uh, we have a sign on the screen, critical low battery. Okay, so I suppose this is working. It's not even point trying. Charging. A critical low battery, we have the sign on the screen. The problem is not coming go until the point the battery got charged, yeah? Yeah, look, Acer logo. Acer logo on the screen. So the laptop it is working. So all what this laptop need is um, is a charger, and the current goes up 2.4 amps. Yeah, and we have the the Windows logo screen here. Yeah? 
But one second, yeah, give me one second. Give me one second. Oh, this is the original charger. Oh, this is not the original charger. Come on. So the charger, what, what the customer left is this one. But this one can provide only 2.3 amps. And I seen it now, like he was going over 2.5 amps. I mean, 100%, this is not this laptop charger. I'm pretty sure, like 100%, this is not the laptop char this laptop charger. Because the charger should be able to provide a lot more. So let's say the laptop is taking 2.5 amps. The charger has to be able to provide like 4 amps. Yeah? No, this is... Ash, I'm I'm pretty sure this is not the, the laptop charger. So the cast no, it's not. Ash, trust me. This is this is another charger. Not only is faulty, but also this is not the laptop charger. Yeah. No. No, probably he bought it from somewhere. Ash. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let me check online. I'm 100% this is not the, this laptop charger. This is a gaming laptop. Should be a big charger. Okay, let me check. Let me check online, yeah? I'm pretty sure the customer just bought this charger from... Uh, you know, it's an aftermarket charger. But it is a Acer charger. That's strange. Acer... Let me see the model. Aspire A515 dash 54. Ah, oh, sorry, model. Model N18 Q13 Charger. Exactly what I told you. No, it's a big charger. One second. Oh, this can't be real. So, actually... This is the, this is the original charger. No, no way. No, I, I still don't believe it. Sorry. Sorry. I still don't believe it. So, uh, I believe that the secret here is this, the model number. Because this is a, you know, has a graphic chip there. N18 model N N18 Okay, let's delete this. How can be this the original charger? 40 watts of power. 45 watts. Ah, sorry. This this is a mystery. You know, it's 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 just a mystery because I seen. My power supply just switch over the limit, which was like 2.5 amps. But 
you like a manufacturer you can't sell something like that with this laptop i mean you cannot this is no way this is original can you hear so something it's is moving inside ash this is insane i don't believe this is original chart this is crazy uh, it's moving so i can feel the board moving inside right, anyway yeah anyway let's put the laptop back because the laptop is fine uh let's put the hinge back okay so what we learned from this uh what we learned from these lessons we learn how to deal with the jobs yeah let's check the other hinge the other hinge is good okay we learn how to deal with these kind of jobs yeah Now it's uh, I feel like a little bit guilty. I said, you know what, the laptop is faulty. Call the customer and tell him, even with a, with a good charger, it's it will not work because I didn't see the the charging port inside. But yeah, like a computer shop, you should always have all type of chargers for testing. And we have. But look here. Here are a lot of chargers, yeah? To test. But not this, not this model. Not this model. Oh, yeah. I feel a little bit guilty. But it's nothing unprofessional. Now we call the customer and tell him, you know what, the laptop is working and you need only the charger. And everyone is happy. But yeah, if you don't have the original charger to check, you will end up opening the laptop and test the, with the power supply. Okay? Anyway, I will stop this video. I'm happy the laptop is working and the issue is only the charger. Uh, you know, just this video is just you know, an example of a, a real life story from a computer repair show how you manage the job. I will finish now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, probably see you on the next one. Bye.